All right, guys, I am so excited. I have everything right here in front of me getting ready to start the snack. Grab your pillows, grab your blankets, and get ready for an awesome episode because it's... headed out today to find an awesome movie and a snack for tonight. Now, what I really want to find is Ghostbusters on 4K. I would love to find that. I looked last week at uh, at Walmart and I didn't see it. I looked it up online on Target and they have it available online, but it didn't look like it was available in stores. So we're just going to kind of run around today, see if we can find it. And if we can't, we'll choose something else and we'll choose a snack to go with that. That's always what's so fun about Saturday night snack in a movie. You spend the entire day planning for it and running around and finding the movie and finding the perfect snack. And then you go home and you get your pillows and your blankets and everything out and you set it all up in the living room and you have an awesome movie night. I think we are gonna go in and check Goodwill first, just for the heck of it, and see what they might have in store in the movie department. Will you do us good, Goodwill? Look at this. It's a ghosty candy dish. What in the world? Okay, looks like they have a small section of DVDs here. In fact, oh my gosh, guys, I literally just donated these. Look at this. Boy Meets World, complete first season, and complete third season. I just donated these to here the other day. All right, let's start over here. We got Bedtime Stories. That's an awesome one right there. Underdog, Nanny McPhee. I hated that movie. All right, let's see. Spider-Man, Bridge to Terabithia, Because of Winn-Dixie. Do you guys remember when I did the Saturday Night Snack in a movie Because of Winn-Dixie? And I went to Napoleonville, Louisiana to film all the filming locations because no one else has ever done it. And when I got there, it was a complete ghetto. It was absolutely destroyed. I didn't even get out of the car. Look, they have Tangled. I honestly don't think I've ever even seen this one. I should get it. Ooh, and Santa Paws. Christmas movies are coming soon, guys. And look at this. They have Marmaduke. Oh my gosh, Owen Wilson does one of the voices in there. I haven't seen this either. However, Clifford the Big Red Dog actually just came out. I would love to see that. Oh my gosh, I cannot even tell you how excited I am right now. Guys, look at this. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids on VHS. This is absolutely one of my favorite movies of all time. Oh my gosh, and it's on VHS. I can't stand it. Oh, this is one of my all-time favorites too. Paul Blart Mall Cop. I love this movie so much. Oh, look, they have Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the original one. Look at that Oompa Loompa. Lady in the Water. I don't think I have ever seen this one. This is M. Night Shyamalan. I just might have to get this because I've never seen it. Look at this Scary Movie 4. I think I've seen this one. I think I've seen them all, and they're all pretty hilarious. Now, here's one I've never seen. Snakes on a Plane. I've heard that it's so corny, though. Oh, how cool is this? They have the blockbuster puzzles here. 500 piece puzzles that look like they're in a VHS box. Footloose, Flashdance, and Clueless. Those are so cool. I just donated this too, guys. Look at this 3D Blu-ray player. And they got a good price on it, $12.99. All right, somebody's gonna get a good deal. What in the world? I should be get these, put them on, and come walking out into the living room in front of Marion and be like, I'm ready to go to the beach. <laughs> All right, well, it's always fun looking around at Goodwill, but we didn't find anything we wanted, so let's keep this wagon train a moving. There's Wally World over there. If we don't find anything at Target, we'll go there. All right, Target it is. This place is pretty hopping today. They've got some awesome Christmas movies in, guys. Holy crap, I cannot wait to start those. 
Here's this Free Guy movie. I have not seen this yet, and I do want to. Hmm, maybe I'll rent it. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. It's a Nightmare Before Christmas Jack Skellington plush with a blanket that is perfect for a movie night. Oh my gosh, look at this, too. Rowley Jefferson's Awesome Friendly Spooky Stories. That is probably hilarious. All right, here's the DVDs. Let's begin the hunt. Ghostbusters, are you here? Here's Cruella. Oh, look, they have Raya. Okay, let's keep on looking because that's not what we want at the moment. It's so hard to ignore the Christmas movies, guys, because I want to get them started already, but I'm not quite ready to do Christmas Saturday night snack in a movie yet. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Ooh, this is a cool one I haven't seen yet. Godzilla vs. Kong. We definitely have to do a movie night for this one soon. But they got a whole bunch of $5 movies on the end here, and I do see that they have Ghostbusters 1 just on regular DVD, but that's not what I want. I want to find at least Blu-ray, if not 4K, so. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. $90 for the Lord of the Rings trilogy on 4K. Holy crap. I'm about due to watch this trilogy again, but not for 90 bones. I actually have this, the eight film Harry Potter Blu-ray set, and I started Marion on it one night. I think we watched two uh, movies so far, and she actually liked it. She didn't think she was going to. You guys are gonna have to tell me if Cruella is any good, because I have like no interest in seeing it whatsoever. I absolutely love 101 Dalmatians, the cartoon, but this Cruella movie, just no interest. Whoa, look at this, Batman The Long Halloween Part 2. I didn't even know there was a Part 1, and it's like an animated feature. Um, I don't know, I'm not a big comic book person, but The Long Halloween sounds pretty good to me. Okay, so here is the How to Train Your Dragon Ultimate Collection. Three movies and two TV specials. I've never seen one of these. I've heard they're really good, and I bet you anything by the time I see it, I will wish I would have watched it earlier. But you guys tell me, how is it? Is How to Train Your Dragon an awesome movie or what? And here's that new Space Jam movie. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Here is the two-pack Space Jam with LeBron and Space Jam with Jordan. I am still waiting for my LeBron Toon Squad shoes to show up. They have to go through like a uh, an authentication thing on eBay now. It's such a pain. Oh, holy crap, guys. Here it is. Look at this. There's only two left. Ghostbusters 1 and 2 on Blu-ray. So cool. Totally getting it, unless they have 4K. And apparently that is all the DVDs they have in that one little section there. This is all video games, and I don't see any others, so Ghostbusters it is. Holy crap, they have the Goonies Never Say Die game. Guys, everybody on the Goonies group is looking for this game. It's apparently so hard to find, and I should buy it right now, but I'm not going to. I am so glad they had this, guys. Now we need to figure out what we're gonna do for a snack. I have a couple ideas, and I'm kinda thinking something green for like a Slimer-themed snack. In fact, one of these might actually work for one of the things I was thinking, and maybe not, because none of it is green. Let's see here. Okay, so Mountain Dew might actually work for what I wanna do, but I don't know, we'll come back to that. What is this? Poppy prebiotic soda watermelon. 250 a can? Never mind. Remember when they had Ghostbusters drink boxes? It would have been so cool if they would have released those again for the new movie coming out, but I don't see them and I have not heard that they've done so. Oh look here guys, they actually have Pop Secret Ghostbusters Afterlife Microwave Popcorn. That is pretty cool. That would be awesome to have for, the, for a snack with the movie. No way, guys. What? Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> I thought that this was actually marshmallows that had those little smiley faces on it. How hilarious would that be? Like little Stay Puffed Marshmallow Men. Of course, I'm a crafty fellow, so that gives me an idea. Uh 
if they only had the really big ones too. I think they're called roasters. They're like made specifically for s'mores. All right guys, we got our movie, but we're gonna go one more place to get what we need for the snack. And that would be Walmart. <laughs> and there they are, giant campfire roasters, exactly what we need. Holy crap, and they even have legit Stay Puffed Marshmallows. We need some of those, and some of these, and one of these, and one of these. And I want to experiment a little bit here with an idea that I've had. Sparkling ice, lemon lime. I'm not too hot on this lemon lime. However, it might work for this. I think I'm gonna get some heavy whipping cream for this too. I don't know if I'll need it, but we'll have it if I do. Oh, would I love to have these right now. Nom, 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 nom. What in the world? Look at this. Fat boy ice cream. You are so canceled right now. Although they do look delicious. Hmm, I was hoping they had like green sherbet, but they don't. Okay, they have key lime pie. That's not it. I see it on the bottom here. Key lime pie ice cream. That might work if it were green, but we don't have any way of knowing if it's green. Mint chip, on the other hand, should be green. Wait a minute, here is lime sherbet, and this appears to be green. On the other hand, I'm thinking keep the carbs down, for myself at least, you could use like regular ice cream, but vanilla would work, and I could put some green food coloring in it. If you really wanted to make it easy and you wanted a green drink with your movie, you could always get Gatorade. Wait a minute. Lime cucumber. Now, in theory, this tropical limeade flavored drink mix would turn our shake green, but I just don't know for sure. So I think we're going to stick with the food coloring because I really want it to be green. It's supposed to be slimer colored after all, so... All right, let's roll up out of this piece, get home, make our snacks, and have a movie night. All right, guys, so I've got my shirt on. I've got everything laid out here that we're gonna need to make little Stay Puffed Marshmallow Men. So we've got this bag of giant roasters, they're called, campfire marshmallows. Look how enormous those are. These are gonna make up the body of the mini Marshmallow Men. Then we've got a step down. We've got the normal size marshmallows here. That'll go right on top of these and make up the head. And then of course we have the mini Stay Puffed Marshmallows, which is gonna make up like the arms and the legs. Now I haven't come up with a better way to make the marshmallows stick together. So we're just gonna use party picks. These are just toothpicks. We also have some black decorating gel, which we're gonna use to draw like the face on the marshmallows, and then we have colored writing icing, which if all goes as planned, we're gonna use that to do like the little bandanas on them, the red bandanas and the, the blue, uh, whatever you call that there, the lapel or something. I am so excited that I actually got a bag of Stay Puffed marshmallows. These are so cool, I don't even wanna open them. But if we wanna make these little buddies, we're gonna have to. So, I've never done this before. This is gonna be a challenge. I'm just gonna turn on the camera and film the process as I always do. Put some music on there and you guys can watch. Hopefully they'll turn out awesome and you can make your own at home.
crap, guys. It worked. Look at these little fellas. How cool is that? Mini Stay Puffed Marshmallow Men. That worked out pretty dang good, guys. All except for that one guy's face right there that got kind of messed up on the eye. But how cool is that for an awesome Ghostbusters movie night snack? Now, granted, if you're going to eat these, you actually have to pick out the toothpicks and pick them apart a piece at a time. But how awesome is that? I am so excited about watching Ghostbusters now. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I forgot something, guys. I forgot their little bandanas that hang down in the front. Give me just a minute. Okay, there we go. Now they are perfect. Look at... Whoa, crap, I dropped one. I'm sorry, little guy. Oh, I am so sorry, little guy. <laughs> all right, he's not too bad. All right, we got him back up there. They're all saved. But look at those guys. Aren't they awesome? All right, there they are. I saved him. Try not to drop him again this time. Look at those guys. That is so hilarious. All right, guys, that's it. I was going to make a green Slimer shake, too, but I'm having enough trouble with these guys. Every time I go to take my thumbnail, I drop them on the floor. <laughs> And there they go. Every time I try it, they roll off on the floor. So before something else goes wrong, I'm gonna take these little guys, I'm gonna take my movie, cuddle up with my wife, and watch Ghostbusters 1 and 2. I'll see you guys next Saturday.